Hello, this is Tov from Trifo Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on called the uh, Render Time Estimation Add-on. And this add-on, I'm using Blender 2.82, uh, but I've tried it in 2.9, uh, and it also works there. And what this add-on does is that it gives you an estimation of how long your render is going to take, especially when it comes to an animation, which is great. And I'm going to leave a link of it uh, below this uh, video so that you guys can download it and try it out for yourselves. Uh, it's not a free add-on. It's paid for. It's like $6, so it's not too bad, not too extreme. But the download process or the installation process is the same. Once you download it onto your system, go to Edit in Blender. Preferences, Install, Navigate to where you've installed it. Click on Install Add-on. already done that. And then, let me see, you just put a check in the box and that activates it. And where it is, is in the rendering uh, window, which is right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it gives you all this information about how long it's going to take for it to render the rendering time and the time when it's done. When this bar is 100%, it'll show it. Give you some stats where it, when it started, the elapsed time, estimated end. Gives you an idea of the how uh, fast a frame rendered and how long a frame rendered, the shortest and longest rendering of the, any particular frame in your scene. Um, gives you an average rate of uh, all the frames, how long it took everything to render in terms of average per frame. And it gives you some export settings too, the folder you want to export it to and the file name. You click on export data. I don't use this myself. I just stick with Blender's export, exporting, you know, uh, settings here. Uh, but one thing I've seen to add on it, it's not that good at estimating uh, rendering images. But when it comes to rendering uh, animations, it's on point. But let me go back to the layout. I have Suzanne here. And I'm going to export this as a uh, video. I have my settings set up here. I've chosen uh, FFmpeg video, the encoding here. I've turned to H.264 and MP4 and uh, set the settings output to high quality. And I've given it my destination on the desktop here, uh, which is runtime. And I've want to save it on my desktop, so that's already set up. And we're going to just, just do a quick animation here, just give, uh, give you an idea of how the add-on looks when it's activated. Hopefully it won't crash the computer when it starts. But I want to move Suzanne over to this and just give it a really simple animation. Click on my recording uh, option there. Left click to get a keyframe. Go all the way to the end. Left click and drag on the X axis. And we have an animation there. Then turn it off. We play it back. It just, it's just the basic animation from left to right. Now, in order for you to see uh, the, uh, the add-on in action, click on Render. And we have our window here uh, for our rendering. Click on Render. I'm going to turn it to Cycles. Cycles. It works in Cycles and in EV. It doesn't really matter what version of uh, the rendering or what rendering system you use. It's all the same. Oh, this is an add-on too, but this is something separate. I'm just put it, setting up the GPU settings. I'll we'll click on Render and Render Animation. And I'm going to minimize this. And you can see it's, it's counting, it's estimating how long it's going to take. And it's giving us a preview also in our window here. But apparently it's going to take 14 minutes, around 14 minutes and 16 seconds for this animation to go through. Uh, it's going to go from frame 1 to frame 250 gives us the uh, dates and the time it started uh, you can't change the time here to be actual like 5 30 6 30 this is the time it actually the, the time format it actually has and this is the estimated time per frame I think 40 seconds uh, and it's going to end at this time which is going to be in 13 minutes the shortest frame is three seconds. The longest frame is three seconds. So yeah, so it, it's it uh, it's a really good add-on.
it really estimates so that way once you start a render you don't have to kind of calculate yourself how long it's going to take for the render to finish because this add-on does it for you so yeah that's today's blender quick tip uh, the render time estimation add-on for blender 2.82 and 2.92 uh, hopefully this uh, tutorial was helpful for those of you who are watching. Once again, I thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate it. This really helped out a lot with the growth of the channel. I thank you guys a lot. Uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are, are subscribing now. And those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.